I truly believe that there are biblical principle that when you follow, it will guarantee, and I mean guarantee to create wealth. Want to know what they are? Before I share these five wealth belief system with you, I just want you to know that I myself use these same belief system today. Using these five principles has transformed my life, my client's life, and their business. And when observed, you too can also find that wealthy individuals are using these same principles today. Listen, I discovered these principles based on my own emotional challenges that I was having. I knew I was smart. I had the degree. I had the credential. So I knew how to apply strategies. I I was really good about learning how to apply strategy. You could give me a step-by-step process and I will follow it to the T and I will get results. But here's the catch. Even though I would get results from these principles, the challenge is the results wouldn't be consistent. So even if I became successful with results, that success would not remain. So that drive me to a frustration. One day you have money, one day money's gone. One day you're high, one day you're low. And I started really to think that there's no way to remain consistently successful. I'm like, and I started looking around me like, that's not true. Could Beyonce, Jay-Z, Steve Harvey, all these people that we we know, and they're happy and they seem successful. So I used to say to myself, like, well, why is it that it seems like I can have great month and then the next month everything is gone? And I'm following this principle. I'm following this step-by-step. I'm following the course that I bought. So in that frustration, in that anxiety that I was having, I knew that there had to be answers to this. There had to be answers to why am I always feeling like I'm having more lower months than higher months? Why am I feeling like the things that I desire for myself seem so far-fetched? That new house that I desire, the new car that I desire, the money that I needed to help with my philanthropy work is further away, the promotion that I desire. I started seeing, right, having all the things wrote down, but it just seemed to me that they were just so far out of reach. And when I get this thing I call the momentum going and I feel like it's, I'm on track, Something out of somewhere, (laughs) some distraction out of somewhere comes in and disrupt the flow of what I was on. So I kept saying to myself, let me get this right. I got this information. I'm following this strategy. And as I follow this strategy, frustration set in. Something knocked me off my course. I was focused. I was in my lane. I was pressing gas. And it just seemed like something always come to knock me off my course. And then in that frustration, because when you're frustrated with something, I start looking. I don't know about you, but I start looking for answers because I don't want to stay frustrated. I don't want to stay exhausted. I don't want to stay where I am robbing Peter to pay Paul, my mom would say. (laughs) That's old school saying. I would I would stay in that frustration, like, why am I always here? Why am I seem to always end up here? I knew I was smart. I had the credentials, but I became frustrated trying to figure out why I couldn't be disciplined enough to stick with a strategy long enough to see success. And I know I'm saying I, but I know some of you right now, if you're listening, you can relate to this. So that's why in this video, I'm going to really be diving in to what I call some biblical principles, some financial beliefs that create a wealth for you, that can create wealth for you. And I mean now, not next week, not next month. I mean now, just following these beliefs, just following these, these simple five principles will create wealth for you. Now, let me just kind of dive into what I mean by 
principle. I truly believe that there are laws, uh, uh, God laws that govern the universe. And when you follow these laws that's biblically written out for you in the, in the Bible, that these laws will also navigate you to what your desire wealth is. And I, when I'm saying I'm searching for answers as to why my strategy don't seems to work, I'm always having to switch up the strategy, all this stuff. When I start diving deeper, I always go back to the foundation, which is the Holy Bible, <laughs> baby, the Bible. And so I'm going to be going over my own unique way of breaking down certain things, certain principles, certain beliefs, something, a way of living. There are five things that I live by that govern my business. And I, the takeaway I want you to have from here is the takeaway I want you to have is a different perspective of how you're looking at your life and your business and your business model. So you too can create wealth, right? Cause I'm, like I said, it's a guaranteed when following these, these principles. So let me kind of get into it. If you're new to my space, it's your girl, Sherry Summer Bell. I have women who are in insurance and finance to create that credibility, leverage that credibility so they can create cash flow without sacrificing their family time. So I'm super excited that you're tuning in right now because if you're like me, you're you want to end the frustrations of high and low success. If you're like me, you're gonna tired of going somewhere and seeing something that you truly want and have to pick something else as a low, lower tier thing because you're just looking at what's present in front of you, what your bank account can afford. If you're like me, you're saying to yourself that I know that I'm called for more. I know that I can do more. And with my gifts, it can make room for me to be able to have the things that I desire. And if that's you, this video is for you. So let me go ahead and dive right in. I'm giving you the raw copy. There's no editing in this. We're just going to go dive right in because this is how much I believe in these five five principle. So if you haven't already, grab your notebook, grab your pen. We're going to dive in. So again, like I said, my frustration of trying to figure out why can I stick to this strategy? Why can I do this? It led me to me searching, doing my research on personal development and belief system and mindset. All of this stuff led me to the conclusion of this, led me to my belief number one. And I knew that whether I wanted to admit it or not, because I'm just talking about me, maybe I'm just alone here. I had a problem with money. How I know I had a problem with money is because every time I'm supposed to do something or go somewhere, the first thing we want to say is how much does it cost? Because we are worried to see if it's in our budget or not able to afford it, right? So Every time, if I, I'm going on a cruise ship with my girlfriend, there's a difference between saying, hey, how much does it cost I can send you over the money versus how much does it cost to see if I can afford it? Two different language, right? And I knew that when I see something like a conference or a mastermind or a mentor that I want to invest in and I don't have the amount that that mentor require. I get frustrated because I know that's the community I need to be in. When I, my, my husband and I were changing out our flooring in our home and we go to our local loads that deal with flooring and all that, all that jazz when they come to home repairs. And they told us how much the flooring is going to cost for us to get our flooring done, to take our carpet, put down different tile or vinyl, whatever we want to put down. The point is, when I hear the number, <gasps> there's a little frustration that comes in because in your mind that I don't know if I have the money to afford that. That's all, that is all evidence that there was a money issue. And what I learned from is if I am going to create wealth, I have to look at money in a different way. I have to look like at like money at money a different way than where the my current I was told to look at money, right? I had to shift how I look at money. And the only way I knew how to do that, the only way I knew how to look at money is stop believing that things cost so much more. 
So I learned that when you are walking in spaces or you're around spaces or low vibration, I love, love to say that, low vibration people, they look at money as how much does something cost all the time? Like, how am I going to afford this? How Like, my entire childhood has been surrounded by my parents teaching me I can only make money using um, to pay bills. That was, that was money was for to pay bills. But as I started getting around people who was who was seven figures and eight figures, I realized that the way they look at money, belief system number one, is using money to create an income producing asset, using money to create more money. That was the first belief system that changed for me. Understanding the purpose of why money is created. Money is created. Money is a seed and it reproduces. Anything that is a seed, it reproduces, right? A seed in a mother's tummy produces a child, right? It flourishes. A seed in the ground produces more fruits, more harvest. So when I started looking at money as money doesn't run me, I run it. And when I started looking at things that things are not expensive, so I always love to say only, and I, and I stole that. I would say, give credit to Myron Golden. I stole that from him. He did something about this. And I was like, oh my goodness, that is so powerful. So in, whenever something comes up for me that I truly want, and someone said, oh, it's going to cost you $10,000. I said, oh, okay. It's only, so it's only $10,000? Like, yeah. I got in the habit of saying it's only because I know that once I put that value so high in my brain, that that way of looking at money will never be the same. So I had to change the way how I say things. I had to change the way how I believe and understanding that number one, the primary purpose of money is to create more money. And it's not just for me to believe that. It's, I have examples of anyone that making seven, seven and eight figures in their business and they're consistent with that. I guarantee you that is how they think. They don't look at money as like, oh my God, I'm losing money. They look at when I, when I put money to this thing, how much more return am I going to get? When I invested in a coach and I'm in that community, how much more being among those men or women of, of advancement, how much more are their mindset? My mindset is going to change and I'm going to be able to partner with them. That's how my mindset believe. When I purchased my home, I remember this room right here. I saw so many rooms. I saw so many places. And I said, no, I can't find the house that I want. So I'm going to build my house. And when I build my house, this is going to be my office room. This is going to be the room that produced money. This is going to be the room that I sit here and reach the masses and impact lives and generate revenue from this room. I had a vision that this is the purpose of this room. So I was not going to settle for a lesser square footage home because I knew what I wanted and I go after what I wanted, right? So when I look at buying more, purchasing a home of what the use of that home is for, you know, my family was probably looking at it. Oh, it's a nice home. It's brand new. You build it from scratch. That's different. But I was looking at the home like in this room, this one room is going to produce everything else for the rest of this room for the rest of this house. That's powerful. I hope you got what I just said. So I started saying, if I invest more in this house, this room is going to give me what I need. So I'm going to go with the home that's going to be able to give me this home, this room. And I started looking at other things. Like when I go to a conference and they have a VIP day or they have um, the uh, uh, upsell to the VIP, I always opt out. I always opt in for the VIP. And the reason why that, because I know the conversation is different. I knew that I'm going to meet people who think in the same vibration, who think in the same way. So again, my belief system is using money to create income producing asset. So I'm going to use my money to get in rooms that I would not necessarily get in. And I, so because I'm going to buy my way faster. Woo! That's a whole, I don't have time. I got, we got, we got five, four more to go. I don't even have time to get into all of this, right? So that's the first belief system is how I look at money. Money is, is nothing is, is expensive at all. The question to ask yourself before you, you purchase that thing is how can I make money back from that thing? What is the return on the investment on that thing? How would that help me? 
to produce more stuff, to be more valuable, to become, to have that asset. All right. So going forward with that, knowing, watching the way how I believe about money and not putting so much value on the money, but put more value on me to produce the money. Whoo, whole game changer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and if you're, if you're having aha moments right now, just go ahead and put yes, yes in the chat. <laughs> just talk back to me. So, and number two, the other thing that changed for me is what is also realizing my, my second belief system that, that blew my mind is I've always, and I still do says, I want to make my first seven figures. I want to make my first seven figures. I was so concentrating on making my first seven figures every year. I felt like I would get close and I would just drop the ball, get close. And I would drop the ball and get close. And I was just getting so frustrated about why my, why, why is it taking me so long? Why is it taking me so long to hit the seven figures? Right. Number one, it was taking me longer because I kept putting the seven figures at this high point. So if I want to make seven, I really had to think I want to make eight, like a seven ain't it. Right. Go, do, going back to what I said, earlier in, in belief system number one. So wanting to make that first seven figures, I realized that it was taking me longer because I had to adapt in learning that I can make seven figures. It's, it was more of a matter of time because that's why I hear people say all the time, you, you just got to take your time. You got to put your stuff out there, put your reels out there, put your, and I'm like, what? Put it out there. And, th and then maybe though, I don't want to, maybe I want to guaranteed. And that's a power of principle. In principle are laws that are true and cannot change no matter how many years the laws still remain the same, right? Like, Gravity, anything goes up, must come down. That's gravity. That's a law that hasn't changed. So when it comes to making revenue, I learned that, yes, I can make revenue in a longer period of time, but I can even make revenue in a faster period of time by collapsing the time, by creating the speed of income to make money. See, it's easier to make a lot of money in a short period of time than it is to make a little money in a longer period of time. Let me go ahead and break that down for you for the people in the back who really, really want to hear this. All right. So let me even break it down for you a little bit further. When I first started in the business, I wanted to create some digital products, $20 digital product, right? So I would figure out my digital product, let's say a video, something like this, that I, I could I could sell this knowledge, right? Sell something like this, say $97, I'm selling this video, right? Selling this video for, to 100 people, $100, boom, boom, right? For me to make $1,000, I have to sell the video to 1,000 people, right? $100 a person. So that's a long time. But what if I shifted and said the video is $500? Now I only need two people to sell it to two people to make that same $1,000. Still got to market. Still got to create a video. Still got to find a sales page. I still got to do the same thing that I was doing for the $97 product that I have to do for me selling it for a $500 product. The product doesn't change. The value is a value. But what I learned is I have to speed up the way I make money. So I had to learn that I it, it, it it's a short period of time that it will take if I increase the value and increase the amount, of course, and I'm selling to less people then I'm selling to more people. How does that relate in, into business? I, I mean, that is related to business, but they even go deeper. Even my insurance per professionals, they'll say to me, I don't know what product to focus on. And I say to them, well, what product is going to give you the highest commission that you know about? Let's be clear on that. What product? Is it IUL? Is it fine expense? Is it mortgage protection? Right? So find the product that's going to give you the highest return. And even go deeper. I have financial professionals. What product that you sell is going to yield you a higher return? And when you start focusing on that and only that because the sale of selling it remains the same. <sighs> Light bulb. Boom, 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 boom. You still got to market. <laughs> you still got to have a sales page. You still got to have the automation. You still got to have the tools and all that. 
but it doesn't require any more energy for you to sell that product. It is so good. It doesn't require you any more energy to sell that product than it is for you to sell it a smaller uh, quantity, right? So when I realized that it's easier to make a lot of money in a short period of time than it is to make a little money in a longer period of time, I was no longer giving attention to anything that takes me a long time to make money. No longer. No longer. I was no longer. So what does that mean? That means any affiliates that, oh, we can, you can sell these affiliates. Great. These are great, but I, that's not my attention. That's not my focus. The, they, the, the, I have small things that I sell, but those small things came with the bigger things that I sell. And I realized that the people who buy at a bigger, at, at that level, at a high ticket level, guess what? They think different. They believe differently. So that's my belief system number two. And that just kind of transform my life, baby. You hear me? Transform my life. All right. The next belief system that if, if I haven't blown you away already, I don't know what I don't know what. But my next belief system that really helps me to start creating wealth. To when I say wealth, let me say this: having money to where I can put away into a high interest account and watch interest bill on that money and be able to fund that that account. That's what I mean by building wealth. Having money to buy an asset as in a property, as in an investment and flipping that investment. That's what, you gotta have the money. You gotta make the money first to even get to manage or multiply the money, right? So the next one, I think um, really, how do I say? I really transform the way I do things. I re- and number, number three in my belief systems that create wealth, the number three for my belief system I have this thing and I, and I must give credit to Dr. Benjamin Hardy. And he wrote the book, 10X is easier than 2X. And let me go deeper in, into that. You know, I love going deeper, right? You know, I love going deeper. And not, when I didn't know, right? Because you have to invest to know. <laughs> when I didn't know all the things that I know now, I would just start strategies and hope it stick. Cause I wasn't moving my principle. I was lo- moving by strategy. So I would do this strategy. If it sticks, okay, boom, it doesn't stick. Try this thing. It doesn't stick. Boom. Try this thing. It didn't stick. So I'm like, man, I'm trying all these different strategy and it's not sticking. What am I doing wrong? I'm having all this strategy, doing this strategy and it's not sticking. What am I doing wrong? What, what, what am I, why can't I do this strategy and it sticks and I'm doing here and I'm doing this, I'm trying this, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm, hey, let me get it clear. You, I am speaking about this topic on my reel. Then I'm speaking about that topic on the reel and that didn't work. Then I'm hosting this webinar and that don't work. Now I host another webinar and that don't work. And then, then I change my webinar topics and then I keep changing things and I just keep changing things. And I'm just you know, shooting blindly, right? As a former cop, I'm just shooting blindly, like, you know, like, and missing the target. And the reason I was missing the target is because I was doing every single thing. And when I learned that 10X is easier, is 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 easier to make more money when you 10X is easier than 2X. And I remove 80% of what I was doing and focus only on the 20% of my business. And the 20% of my business is what led me to seven figures. So instead of me, give you an example, instead of me hosting five different webinars with five different topics and always changing my webinar, always doing this, I decided that I'm going to change that. I decided that I'm going to focus on one topic, hosting one type of webinar getting people the knowledge they desire, and I'm doing one thing. So even in the back office of our team, we are only doing one strategy, one idea, one thing. And we are only, fo- and we're going to get, because I'm talking about uh, belief system of three, 10X is easier than 2X, but I'm really going into number four, but we get deeper in number four. So I had to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff I was doing. 
a whole bunch of stuff I was doing and focus in on one thing. We have one strategy that generate our leads on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, and on a monthly basis. One strategy. And when we apply that one strategy, and if you want to learn about what our strategy is, make sure you in the description, come to our challenge <laughs> and we'll teach you the one strategy that we use. We have a credibility cash flow challenge or a virtual selling figure challenge teaching you that challenge, teaching you that strategy. And it's in the description. Um, so make sure you click on that and join us. And we, we teach it over four days. But once I, I focus only on that strategy, my life changed. So getting rid of all the things I'm doing and just honing on that one thing is what really transformed my life. Just really applying that 10X is easier than 2X and going hard on that 10. And let me go deeper on that 10X part. So 10X for me is going all the way in. 10X for me is doing the bigger thing and 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 getting smarter at that bigger thing. So let's say the bigger thing for me was we were creating a challenge, let's say that, that we, we host every month. And in that challenge, we teach women how, in insurance and finance how to build their credibility and cash flow. And we focus solely on that thing. That's it. We don't focus on anything else. And when we, when we did that, we go all the way in. We, we make it better and better each time. And we weren't focused on anything else. Now, what does that mean? That means throwing all our ads at, the, at that one thing, doing everything, all our marketing at that one thing. And it just blew up our business, blew up our business, which lead me to the next belief system, which is the power of one, the power of one. So what does power of one mean? Focusing on one thing, one linear, right? One target market, one audience, one strategy, oh, one year. And I... That is another thing that blew me away. The power of one, perfecting one thing. And when we focus in on that one strategy, that one thing, that that transform our life and our business. So if you talk to uh, Angel, which is my assistant, and if you talk to uh, my online manager, and if you talk to uh, Larice, my automation person, if you talk to uh, Jasmine, my success coordinator, where, and ask them, hey, what are we doing? They know it's that one thing. They know it's, we are focused on one thing, one strategy. And when I realized the power of one is just so amazing, for you, it could be selling one one type of product. Oh my God, sure, that means oh, I'm missing out. No, I'm not saying you have to 100%, but I mean, be known for that one thing. I am known for helping female in insurance and finance build their credibility through virtual group selling. I am known for that. That's what I'm known for, right? So, when we focus on what is the one thing that we want to be known for, power of one, it's a game changer. And finally, and finally, all of the other strategies would not be possible. So we are focused on one thing and then we get to the other one where it's, when you focus on one thing, it kind of gets you to the next one, which is striving to be your Michael Jordan in your space, right? It kind of get to that space because when you're striving to be the Michael Jordan in your, in your space, if you're focused on one thing, you know that one thing. I have a client. She uh, she ha she helps a tax professional use AI to generate clients, right? So she is an AI expert. She lives, breathe AI. So she's an expert. So of course, you're going to pay her more because she's an expert, right? So it goes back to she's a Michael Jordan for tax professional in AI, that's an example of what I'm saying. She know the tax world and she know AI that she's a, Oh my gosh, she's dynamite. So it's the same thing with you. Like me knowing the insurance space and also knowing insurance marketing dynamite and knowing how to mass enroll clients. So focusing on, on that one thing, transform your business tremendously and becoming that Michael Jordan in that space. Being your own Michael Jordan that space, that's what I think is the benefits of 
of that for me. And that's number four, being in Michael Jordan in your space, uh, because here's why. There's not much competition because not a lot of people are going to try to be the Kobe Bryant. Not a lot of people is going to be the Anaconda. They're not going to do that. They're not going to wake up at six o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning. And they're not going to they're not going to do the things that you're going to do. They're not going to put out videos. Right. So, you know, if you put out videos, just putting out stuff that people can see you and be findable, you know, doing that, that's an asset. That's a whole lot of video I don't have time to do, but doing an asset, that's an asset, putting out your asset out there in the world or being educated and educate your, 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 your followers. You already know a lot of people are not going to do that. So you have no competition. You, you are the Kobe Bryant of your era. You are the Michael Jordan of your era. So being that person, that space, that not going to do the things that, that you're going to do. You are already in a, in a space where there's no competition for you, for you. You created, you outdo your competition, just be you. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Right? So that was a, a game changer for me. And finally, yeah, I promise I was trying to get this video short, but God knows I needed to make it longer. So here it is, right? <laughs> Number five for me, being a Michael Jordan in your space, 10x is easier than 2x. The easiest way to make a lot of money in a short period of time than is a long period of time using your money to create income asset. All that sounds great. But my number five is my totally favorite. My number five belief system for creating wealth is exercising my God likeness. And what my what I mean by my God living likeness is being able to take on my God form while I'm on earth. Let me go deeper. <laughs> so knowing that not just who I am, but whose I am, that I'm God's masterpiece. And as a masterpiece, there's nothing I cannot do. Because if I talk about being a Michael Jordan, if I talk about exercising the power of one and, and 10 x in my, my business and focusing on one area, it's going to take a God likeness. It's going to take a identity shift. It's going to take for me to be a high value thinker it, all around me, not just in business, in life. So I have to exercise the, the part that I am God's masterpiece. And as a masterpiece, there's all, is there imperfections on masterpiece? Yes. Have you ever seen the Mona Lisa? There's imperfection there, right? But it's still, but it is the, it is the beauty still in the imperfection. So not because you, you have issues, that doesn't mean you are going to lose focus because distraction follow intention. So as soon as you intended to be better, to be like God's masterpiece, to walk in your right belief system. It, when you decided to create income wealth producing asset, when you decide to look at money from a different angle, guess what? It's, there's going to be a distractor. There's going to be something that comes in to prove like, uh-uh, I told you it's not. But if you remain steadfast and if you remain in these biblical principle, if you remain in this space, in your God likeness, that you are the head and not the tail, that you're above and not beneath. If you remain in who you are, and because in who you are, there's so much things that is produced from you. When you operate in your highest vibration, you become a better person. And subconsciously, your kids become a better person. Your family become a better person. Your spouse become a better person. Your household become a better person. Because you, you, I, when you're happy, the world around you is happy because you're giving off that same happiness. When you're successful, you're giving off that same success. I was hearing someone said the other day, like, you know, if you give me $100, I'm just going to give it away. Wow. So get more $100 so you can give away. <laughs> you see how that works? You see how that works? Oh my God, this is so good. I told you we aren't cutting anything. You're getting the raw, raw right now. We're not editing anything. My team is not editing. You're getting this video just like it is, right? And if you need a space to activate that greatness, I want you to join me in my next challenge. I want you to join me. There is a link below. 
click on the link below to join me in my next challenge because that's the space where we talk dive deeper over four days in that space to activating your God likeness. It's not God's desire for us to be sad, to be broken, to be broke. But we know that life happens and we know we have to untrain our brain to get back to being exercising our God likeness. And if that's something that you want to do, you can do it. You can do it. But it will take for you to be in the energy of that. So you can keep attracting that. So the days when you're feeling like not getting up, the day when you feel like not doing this video, because let me tell you something, baby, I did not feel like doing this video today. Okay. <laughs> so the days when you feel like you don't want to do this video and you get up and you still do it, because I know there's somebody out there that needed to hear this today. There's somebody that forget who they are and whose they are. And I had to come and remind them to exercise their God likeness. When I came to remind them, I was doing it for you, queen. I was doing it for you, king. When you start exercising your God likeness, become the Michael Jordan or the Kobe Bryant in your era. Understanding that you take the same energy to 10X is easier than 2X. The same energy it takes to make $97 is the same energy it takes to make $1,000, right? Easiest, easy, easy, it's easy to make a lot of money in a short period of time than it is to make a little money in a long period of time. I've heard Myron say that over and over. Let me give credit to him. And number one, using money to create income producing asset. So when I have money, what am I using for? I'm using for the higher virtual assistant that to put me out there in days when I can't put myself up there because I'm sharing, the, sharing this knowledge with you. That's their job. That's what you use money for. And when I put myself out there, people like you can find me. I hope you find knowledge and value in this video. And if you did, comment below. Let me know. All right. It's your girl, Sherry Summer Bell. I'm super excited that you joined me. Listen, go ahead and exercise your God likeness.